Welcome to the Brotherhood of the Briar. I'm the Dapper Codger, Greg Hergott from South Carolina, USA. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Uh, before we get started, I do want to warn you, this show can expose you to truth, which is known in the state of California to cause triggers and outrage. So if you're currently in the state of California, we recommend that you mask up. You know what? Go ahead and just double mask up. Uh, it's not going to do anything, but anyway, just go ahead. Don't ask questions. Mask up and you'll be fine. Everybody else, hey, welcome, welcome. Anyway, I do appreciate the comments that you guys have been leaving. I try to read them all and respond. Uh, uh, several of you have left a message saying that the background music has been somewhat distracting. So what I'm doing now is I'm, a, I'm not having any background music on this particular video. I've also purchased a lapel mic that hopefully will help you hear me more clearly. No, uh, no, 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 no background music is what I said. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to, what I'm going to do from now on is just try to not have any background music, to have less distractions. I appreciate those comments. Uh, some of you in my last video have also commented that I left out a part that I should have mentioned, and I appreciate that. When, before removing the stem after you've smoked the pipe, it is important to let it cool down before removing this. Hey, we're good. No, no, no. I don't, no piano today. That's right. Yeah, we're good. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, so what I was saying is it's important to let the pipe cool down after you've smoked it before removing the stem. That way you don't risk any damage to the tenon inside there. And I left out that part. And I appreciate you guys bringing that up so I can bring it up to you. Listen, no piano today. I don't know how I can make myself more clear. Sorry, guys. Much better. All right. So anyway, today I am smoking. I've got my Meerschaum Viking pipe, which is made in Turkey. Uh, Meerschaum, from what I understand, and hey, if you've got some feedback you want to add to this, put it in the comments below. But what I understand is it's a uh, type of mineral that is found in the Black Sea and also in mines throughout the plains of Turkey. And they, it is, Meerschaum is a German word meaning sea foam. And they basically take that and carve whatever it is into it. Right there we've got the uh, Viking. I really like this pipe. It smokes very cool. It's very nice. And there's a lucite stem on there, which is basically like high-end acrylic. But uh, what I'm excited about is today I'm smoking a new aromatic. And I, I like aromatics, but I, I'm mainly an English blend and a Virginia blend or straight Virginia smoking kind of guy. I really enjoy those. Uh, but I do smoke uh, aromatics, usually mostly in the morning. But I found an aromatic that I really, really like. It's my favorite aromatic so far. And uh, maybe you guys have already heard it. I'm not crazy about the name, but hey, it's Dan Tobacco's Devil's Holiday. Devil's Holiday by Dan Tobacco. And it is just so, so good. The uh, tin note alone is uh smells like smells like berries ah oh, it smells so good i know you can't smell it but it's it's really good and uh you can still taste the tobacco it's got virginias and cavendish in it and it's just a really wonderful smoke i am i'm very much enjoying it i've now uh i need to try more dan tobaccos because they're um Hamburger Veermeister 
is one of my favorites. It's a uh, Virginia Flake, more of a golden Virginia Flake. I really enjoy that. And now I'm enjoying this a great deal. And so I'm going to, next time I go to the local brick and mortar, I am going to pick up some more Dan tobaccos and try them. I believe they're out of Germany. I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. Please remember to like the video and subscribe. And please continue to send your comments, and I will do my best to respond to them. And thank you for joining me again today on the Brotherhood of the Briar.